We are here at the Cooler Master booth at CES 2023 and my god, there is quite a lot of cool things here. Too many in fact. But with all that said, let's quickly go through all that they have to offer and especially all the really cool ones. First up, we have the Motion One and it's a whole new chair that's developed by Cooler Master together with D-Box. This is a chair that's designed to provide haptic feedback to your games and entertainment. The chair itself is a pretty standard but comfortable chair. However, what makes it really special is the inside. There are various models located within and throughout the chair that will provide you that thump based on what's happening on screen. The entire chair would also rock back and forth depending on the intensity of the action thanks to the pitch actuator mechanism that's located in this box right below. If you're thinking about compatibility, don't worry, for D-Box has also included an adaptive gaming mode where you can pick and select the features and intensity you want for the games you want. In that sense, pretty much all games will be supported. Next up, we have a whole line of coolers that's really what Cooler Master is known for. We have the new Halo 2 series of fans, and those are in a nutshell, refined from your previous generation. You still get ARGB with that ring light, and it will be available in 120mm and 140mm variants. The key difference will be the 10% larger fan blades, providing better airflow and slightly reduced noise. But if you want more premium fans, there's the Morbius as well, available in a variety of configurations, and these are some seriously properly good fans. The newest kit on the block would be the Morbius 120 OC, with a metal motor hub and a fan speed up to 3200 RPM. If you want the best cooling, this is it. Now let's swing around and talk about PSUs. The first will be the GX3 series, and this will be the new mainstream series to replace the numerous power supply variants that Cooler Master had. 80 plus go efficiency and wattage from 550 watts to 1250 watts. But perhaps the most interesting one is this little guy right here. This is the most powerful SFX power supply that we have ever seen. The V SFX Platinum has a whopping 1100 watts here in the US and up to 1300 watts in Asia. It's insane. And yes, this is properly SFX, not SFX L, and it will cost just 279 US dollars. Mini ITX builds with a full-powered RTX 4090 is a reality now. Which, yes, all of these new PSUs support the ATX 3.0 standard, a very nice touch. We then have a rather interesting take on PC cases. This is the Cube 500, and the entire design is based off Legos. It's a compact ATX chassis with loads of options and minimal screws. Want to change your panel? Just pop it off and insert. Want to add a cooler bracket, just slide it in and close it, it's that easy. And with this idea, Cooler Master is also playing with colours and offering them all right out of the box. But the best part is that all this will be shipped in flat boxes, just simply because of how easy it is to build it, and you save on shipping costs too. So, what did you think? There's so many cool stuff here. There's a SFX power supply that's up to a 1300 watt platinum, 80 plus platinum, that's pretty insane all that compact power in the palm of your hand. There's a cool new chair with haptic feedback that just works with games and movies and all that kind of stuff. And there's even a pretty cool new case that, well, it's built on the idea of Lego, so you can just go ham with it. Colors, build it easy, anything you want, it's right there at a really affordable price too. So, if you're even thinking of upgrading your gaming room per se in the next year or so, or perhaps even this year, or maybe next month, Cooler Master might be the brand that you need to look out for.